Hey y'all, I'm Kat. Welcome to my channel. It is currently Wednesday and it is a rest day for me. When I say rest day, it's um, just a non-gym day for me. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go to the gym today, but I'm also not going to sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day. I need to at least move my body. So this is going to be an active rest day for me. I am gonna watch. I am gonna rest. I am. That's gonna be later. Okay. But right now it is. What time is it? It's nine o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm gonna take my dogs to the dog park, and um, they have a track around it. It's kind of at a like a neighborhood park. So we're just gonna go hang out for a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure I move a little bit. And yeah, so I'm going to take you along with me. I'm still at my house because if I wait to film when I get to the dog park, my dogs lose their minds when we get there. Like, they go absolutely nuts. Finley. Hey, Finley. Finley loves to ride. Right here. Right here. No, no, no. You're not getting in the front seat. Finley loves to ride, but D.O.G. is in the back. D.O.G. Yoji's not a fan, but he does love going to the dog park. Now, I, I actually have more space at my house for them to exercise. Like, my fenced-in area is bigger than the dog park. But we go to the dog park so they can get some social interaction. Um, there's usually not that many dogs there, though. So, we'll see if there's any there today. I just like for them to play with other dogs. And I also get some exercise um, at the same time. We have a tennis ball back there in the back. We're going to throw it. We're going to run. So what I like to do when I take them with me, what's easiest for me is I take them into the dog park first and let them get all of their energy out before we go on our walk. So I like to exercise them before we exercise so that they're not pulling on the leash. And if I jump right into a walk, they're so excited. They're just pulling and going all over the place but if I let them run around if I let them chase a ball get with other dogs first it makes the walk so much easier so I will see you at the dog park I'm gonna try to get the reactions when we get there so as soon as we pull in they know where we are so I'll see you in a little bit Okay, so we made it here. Um, chill, chill, calm down. Hey, it's okay. We're going. It's okay. Chill, calm down. Hey, off, off, off. Calm down. It's okay. Hey. No, 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 no. You're not getting in the front seat. Oh. No. Calm down. So we're here. We made it. The dogs know where we are. There's no dogs at the dog park. Oh, well. That's okay. We'll throw a ball. We'll have fun. We'll walk the track. No. We're not going until you calm down. Hey. Thank you. 
Okay. We're just hanging out. The dogs. The dogs are getting tired, so that's a good. That's good. I just got them some water. Now their faces are all wet. And they're just chilling in the shade. Oh, it feels so good. I don't know if y'all can hear the wind. It feels so good out here. I don't even know what the temperature is, but the wind is blowing and it's perfect. We're just sitting in the shade. We're resting for a minute. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna let them get some more water and then we're gonna do this track. I don't even know how how far it is. I'm thinking a mile and a half, but we'll, we'll, we'll set it and we'll find out today. I've never, I've never actually looked. I've just, I've just walked it. I'm thinking about a mile and a half. But, I'm going to play with them a little bit more, and I'll be back. Don't you poop again. D.O.G., don't you do it. You already pooped once. I have to go get another bag. Come here. Don't, don't you do it. You already pooped. Oh, he's going to poop. And now, you can see the difference, hold the ball, of how they were acting when we first got here to how they're acting now after they've exercised. They're much more calm. They're not pulling on the leash much until they get a swift like this. And I just correct. And they're good to go. A couple of corrections. DOG is always a wonder. Come on. So, yeah. It's a beautiful track around the playground. Got some baseball fields, tennis courts, a running track. Hey, hey, no, come. No. Thank you. All right, let's go. Uh, DOG always wants to stop and smell everything. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, we're pulling. Y'all aren't pulling me across this track. I know there's a truck right there. It's distracting. I know. All right, ready? So yeah, we have to stop to smell everything, to look at all the flowers, to bark at all the birds, but it's okay. It's just a leisurely walk. Just getting outside, getting under the sun, feeling the breeze. Oh, I feel so good today. I can't wait for a fall. Yeah, they're doing so good. It's, it's really... In my opinion, the best option for when you take your dogs walking, especially in a public place, exercise them first. Let them get all their energy out and then go on the walk. They're much more calm. They're just cruising. And I've been holding the leash with my step counter hands. I don't know if I'm even counting my steps. Come on. That's all right though, because I'm not really, it's not really for that. It's just for a leisure day. Just enjoying being outside. Any more? Wait a minute. You're on the leash. Move. I am here at my business. I'm getting some work done. I went home, I took a shower, I dried my hair, put on some clothes, and I'm just doing some work. And then I have to go meet a friend for lunch. I probably won't film, but I'll let you know what I have for lunch.
<laughs> okay, I realized that I did not um, kind of finish the vlog um, from Wednesday, so I'm just going to answer some of the questions that I didn't answer. I was just, I was all over the place. So, um, the track was one and a quarter miles, and what I had for lunch was a grilled chicken wrap. So, that's, those are some things that I did not answer in the vlog. I wanted to show y'all, I did something for the first time today that I've never done before. First for me is I wore printed leggings to the gym today. It's the first time I've ever done it. I have like five pair of black leggings and I just keep them in rotation. I've had these in my drawer for a long time and I wore them today. I felt comfortable enough in them to wear them. I'm going to show you. I didn't wear this shirt. Look how look how large the neck hole of this shirt is. Have I lost neck fat? That's always great. Okay, um, let me show you these leggings. Can't even see them. Okay, hold on. So basically, they're just um, some camouflage leggings, and I wore them to the gym for the first time. I've always worn black, always. But today I did not, and I feel pretty good about it. Okay, let's jump right into my weigh-in, shall we? Roll it! As you can see, I weighed in at 247.8. That's a 1.6 pound loss for the week. I am very unhappy about it. I'm content with it. And yeah, as long as I'm still losing, I'm, I'm really happy. So last week I was 249.4. This week, 247.8. Loss of 1.6 pounds. And also, as my total, um, I started in at the beginning of May as at 285. I'm now 247.8, total of 37.2 pounds. Oh, happy. Oh, look at this. I wanted to show y'all this also. So, I have very large arms. And I knew going into this that I would have... Hold on, my son's coming. Hold on. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, I knew going into this that with how large my arms are, I would have loose skin. Um, so I have been working really hard on my arms in the gym just um, for strength training. I mean, resistance training. And um, because it's inevitable. If you have arms as large as mine, and I'll put a picture of my arms at my heaviest, and it's just inevitable that when your skin stretches and you lose fat, you're going to have some excess skin. And I, at 37.2 pounds, like, I already have skin. And it's okay. I'm not... I didn't think that it would happen this quickly, but, um, but yeah, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. I mean, yes, I've been working hard on my arms and I wish that it would be toned instead of just hanging, but that's okay. I honestly think I've lost all of my weight in my boobs and my arms. <laughs> I think that's where my 37.2 pounds came from. Here's my other one. Yeah, like, I didn't think that it would happen this quickly, basically. I didn't think that at 30, almost 40 pounds that I would have the loose skin on my arms. But it's okay. It's part of the process. I knew that it was going to happen. Um, 
like I said, I've been doing resistance training, a lot of a lot of arm work, so it's all good. It's okay. I'd rather be at a healthy weight with loose skin than than not. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay, y'all. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I'm I'm pretty excited about my next video. I've been switching some things up with my food. I've been switching some things up and. Now that I'm in a routine of it and got it going good, I'm going to make a video on it next week. I am not an expert in the field of nutrition. I am not an expert in the field of weight loss. So, this is just what I've been doing that works with me. I've changed some things up and I'm going to put that in a video next week. So, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you're hitting your goals. I hope you're doing amazing. I'd love for, to hear from you in the comments. Um, I like reading the comments and like I recognize the names now. I'm like, oh, she's having a wedding. Oh, she's, you know, this person's on a weight loss journey too. And it's just, it's awesome. I love just recognizing your names and getting to interact with you and do all this together. So I will catch you guys next week. Peace.